Alrighty, friends, so welcome in. Hello, everyone. My name is Trafnir. I'm playing some more, uh, more Bloodborne today once I get my lights turned on. Hang on. I'm totally unprepared. What else is new? Um, here we go. Let's, let's get some light in here. A little bit more light. Huh? There we go. That's better. A little more doom filled. Anyway, uh, we're, we're diving back into some Bloodborne tonight. Um, and we're going to see how far we get. And then also, uh, tomorrow, we are taking a nice little break from all of this serious, deadly, rage-inducing Souls content. And on Sundays, I am going to start a new game of Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle, which is an awesome tactical uh, turn-based RPG. And we're just going to spend Sundays just chilling, playing some some nice relaxing stuff. And uh, I also, the whole thing of it is I have the sequel, Sparks of Hope, and I haven't played that yet. So I want to do a replay of Kingdom Battle, uh, and then we'll do Sparks of Hope. And then that'll be Sundays. We'll just have little Mario Rabbids shenanigans on Sundays to chill and relax. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I hope everyone else is. Um, but for now, let's Let's kill some stuff. In fact, you know what? We gotta we gotta get the theme in here. We need Yeah, there we go. Make it red. Make it red for Bloodborne. Uh where am I and what was I doing? Church of the Good Chalice. Uh Forbidden Woods. That's where I'm at. Forbidden Woods. We're getting close to the shadows of Yarnum. is the way I was going. Fufu! How you doing, my dude? Good to see you. I appreciate you stopping by. I know Bloodborne's not exactly your cup of tea, but it's good to see you all, all the same. Uh, I am playing some Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle tomorrow, if that's more your speed. But I hope you're well, and I hope the Mario Kart wins are going good for you. Some frenzied cold blood. Always, it's always toad time for you, isn't it? <laughs> you, you've got one of those clocks that just has toad's face on every number, and Every, every hour is toad time for you. Whoops, that's not the way to go. <laughs> that that's your that's the law, huh? Uh oh. for poison. Mario's family aren't pleased with me. Well, I'll be I'll be joining him and his rabid friends tomorrow. I got Sparks of Hope and I haven't played it yet, so figure a replay of Oh, whoops. Whoops. Figure a replay of Kingdom Battle beforehand to get me back in the groove of things will be good. And Trixie Boy, welcome in. Uh, I saw, I was just lurking on Rain's channel a little bit, and I, I saw you in there as well. She's, she's fighting the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. Or they're fighting the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. My bad. I, I suck with pronouns. Whoa, did I just, I kind of floated across that gap there. I'll take it. You're just starting up Bloodborne. Nice. Yeah, we can, uh, I'll, I'll give you a summon. I'll ring, ring the big bell once you're in. Oh, 
Oh, my shiny! It fell over the cliff. Oh, the... The big bailer. <laughs> Ready? Okay, I'll give you. I'll give you a summon. All. Um, are you back towards where the lanterns at? And crunchy. Uh, you're at work, so you can't stay. But you wanted to stop in and say hi. Hope I'm having an amazing day. Thank you so much, Crunchy. I appreciate you. Um, here, let's let's get a shout out for Crunchy. Always. Always, always for the crunchiest of sunflowers. Thank you so much, Crunchy. I appreciate you. Everyone, please go follow Crunchy if you're not already. They are very cozy, playing all kinds of amazing games, playing some Souls games right now as well. Uh, Crunchy is working through Elden Ring for the first time, uh, if you're still on that, Crunchy. Um, oh, 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 uh, right, right, uh, let me go back to, um, <clears throat> let me go back to the lantern. You're back at the lantern, right, Trix? I kind of wander down the road here to kill some of these snakes. Okay, let me head back up to the lantern. And, um... Fufu, <laughs> gonna head out. All right, I appreciate you again. Always stopping by. I know it's not your cup of tea, but uh, it's always good to see you. Uh, let me get back up to the lantern here, Trix. Uh, wherever it is. Oh, right, right, right. I took the elevator. Uh, so do you want me to use the big big bell, or were you at? Or no, no, you're you're like all the way through, weren't you? I used big bell. Hey. Got it. Making contact. Yes, thank you so much, Crunchy, for stopping in. I hope work is going well for you. Woo! We're ready. Okay. Um, I've already killed some of the snakes down here. So we should be ready to go. I like the way the, when you're going down elevators and using ladders, I like the way the cape <laughs> flies up and goes Super Saiyan. <laughs> okay, um, here we go. So I was collecting some shinies and we're killing some snakes. forest is a really good place to grind. Um, I think this is the first like good place to grind in the in the whole game. Ah! Right, look at the little snake, he's creeping for me. Let's 
snakes. Snakes. Oh, big snake. Oh, whoops, that was not the right thing to press. There we go. That makes it a little easier, yeah? Dang it! <laughs> My character decided it was time for a nice sit. <laughs> okay, there's a... Uh... Oh boy. Oh no! Why were those guys, like, so tanky? Just seemed like they would not die. Okay, oh shit, I guess we're going in. We're going in. Fuck it, we ball. We ball. Oh boy. Oh, and I'm poisoned. <laughs> I've been poisoned this whole time. You know what those uh, snakes remind me of is the uh, those guys in Dark Souls Three. They're they're like regular zombies, and then they transform into that like goopy mound of snake stuff. Um, I hate fighting those things because they just they flail. That's all they do. They don't even attack. They just flail. And it's like, you can't even get close enough to hit them. And even when you do, you're, you're trading. You're not, you're not like actually getting hits again. Ah, uh, dang it. I don't have enough bullets. Uh, this first run is just to, um... This first run is is just to uh, to kind of go through and collect all the shinies. So once we're ready to go towards the shadows, we'll just uh, we'll go back and then like are we actually we might not be able to since you're summoned, huh? That's fine. We'll, we'll just we'll, we'll fuck it. We'll, we'll just we'll go in. We'll wing it. Yeah, I'm, I'm good too, but there's still a lot of this area to explore, and um, one of my weapons is broken. And I'm also low on Oh, here, hang on, I got a bell. I was gonna say don't heal. <laughs> I think I got stuck inside the thing. I can't see. Oh, get that butthole. <laughs> oh, rip. 
Pig, pig's butthole. <laughs> I like that. Uh, I think I've seen it in Rain or Mark's Discord, where it's like, it's a picture of Pepe doing the like a punch, <laughs> but he's got like the hunter's cloak on, and it's like POV. You're a pig's butthole. <laughs> so good. There's a piggy around here, isn't there? There's two piggies, I think. Um, there's also a shortcut around here. Is it up this way? Ah! No! Don't eat me! That was weird. That must have been lag or something. He survived an extra <laughs> second or two with no health. Oh no, Triss! I'll press it for you. Yeah, because we did, uh, I did grab the things outside the, the windmill here. I was thinking I didn't grab the items that are in here. Nope. <laughs> we need to add a Super Saiyan aura to you. <laughs> Whenever we're going down the elevator. Uh, we can go do Shadows. Uh, yeah, we're, they're right around the corner, aren't they? The thing about arcane build is you're always finding blood vials. Oh shit, you know what? We we are gonna have to go back. Both of my weapons are almost broken. Crap. Oh, and you know what? I don't think I ever swapped my runes back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey! Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. I thought I got stuck inside the environment.
Okay, so we do need to go back, um, since I got a repair. Oh, and the bell lady is not here. Oh, actually, you know what? My shit is... I just run. Yeah, we can just run past all the enemies. Oh, and um, after we do Shadows of Yarno, we need to go back to the village. Um, and there is an area in the village that we did not explore yet. Um, Here we go. Channel Blood Echoes. Yeah, this whole time I've had my all of my moon runes equipped. <laughs> oh yeah, we do need to do it first, huh? Because if we if we beat the boss, then I won't be able to summon you. Farewell, good. Uh, here. Do I have? Oh wait, wait, wait. Repair repair before I go dump in all of my blood echoes. Okay. Oh, right. And runes. This whole time <laughs> I've just been gaining all the blood echoes. Um, let's see. Ooh, you know what? I kind of like that. So I like um, the whole idea with this. You got 120k from that. Yeah. Yeah, that was a lot. That that forest is a really good place to grind because there's, there's just so many enemies. So it's like you can just start at that first lantern and just run through the entire place to clear it. Like it's such a good area to grind. Um, okay, here we go. So we want to... Hang on. We want the Visceral Attacks for Store HP. And then... Visceral Attacks grant bullets i kind of like that rather than running the uh i was running the other one that increased the amount of quicksilver bullets i have but i think that one's better mm, what was i running I think rally potential? I think that's what I was doing. Okay. Let's uh let's buy some things. What do I have? Okay, I've got plenty of vials, so I'm good on vials. Um I wanna buy a few more sedatives, because you can never not have enough sedatives. Okay, um, sedatives uh, cure frenzy, which is very, very important, um, especially if you're familiar with the Nightmare of Mensis area, <laughs> the, that tower that you gotta climb with the, all those eyeball dudes everywhere, like, you 
absolutely need it. Uh, you got to step away for five in a few minutes. No worries. Oh, forbidden Woods. Uh, do you want me to give you a summon, or should we wait then, since you gotta, you'll have to step away? Oh, and uh, also, Trix, we can hop back in disc if you like, because uh, I know you've you said it, there's like a delay. Okay. We, uh, in my World of Warcraft days, when someone would have to step away like that, you could put a command in that was just slash follow a, a target. So you'd have someone following following you around like a, a ducky. Um, easier to listen on Twitch? Okay. Yeah, so whenever one of us needed to step away, you could just slash follow someone and then they'd still follow you around and gain experience. It's pretty good. Um, oh, that's that's not the right way I need to go. Wrong way. Oh, no, wait. Was that towards the village? Or was the village back the other way? Because this is, this is the Forbidden Woods. Oh, no, 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 no. The village is, is across the bridge. Okay. See, it's all running together for me. You know what? There's a dude up here, isn't there? Yep, there he is. And May! How's it going, May? Good to see you. Welcome in. I appreciate the lurk. Oh, here, let me, uh, let me get you a shout-out as well. Thank you so much for stopping by. And yes, please, everyone, go follow the Emphatic Sage May. Uh, they play all kinds of cozy games. Um, and they're just an... Oh, oh, I fell. I fell. Trouble, trouble. Hang on. Trouble. Trouble. <laughs> Danger. <laughs> Danger. Okay. Uh, they're, they're playing all kinds of cozy stuff, and uh, just an all-around nice, chill person to hang out with. Uh, weekend, and you have things to do, but you wanted to lurk. No worries, I appreciate it. Uh, we're, we're trying not to be as rage-induced as Final Fantasy VII was. I know that seems kind of counterproductive, seeing as how I'm playing Bloodborne, which is a much more rage-inducing game than Final Fantasy VII, but I'm, I'm an odd person. I think part of what uh, irritates me more about Final Fantasy VII Remake is just that it feels like it's poo-pooing all over 
one of my beloved stories. And I think more than anything, that's what makes me upset. Bloodborne's designed to be ragey? Absolutely. Oh no, he's stuck in the fire! See, at least I've got moments like this, where he's kind of confused about having to move through fire. Alright, and welcome back, Trix. Um, run across the bridge instead of taking the elevator down. We, we gotta go back towards that village. There's an area we missed, and I have a feeling this might be a new uh, place for you. <clears throat> oh, let's let's not go flying off the cliff this time. All these shinies. Okay. So we gotta go back over here. And was there a shiny in here? There's a message. Remember Fatty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not sure who Fatty is, but... see it's around here I swear I'm not making this up okay so to the left we gotta go to the left so um, there is a dude here I've already got it so you talk to this guy here and he gives you a magic stone he gives you a special rock that it looks like a pumice stone but I'm sure that when Lovecraft saw a pumice stone he just had nightmares about it so that's what this thing is. What's it called again? Hang on, I gotta look up and see what it's called. Because it totally looks like a pumice stone. Uh, this thing, it's called a tonsil stone. A lattice deformed rock, or perhaps a meteorite. Appears useless, but possesses some odd gravitational force that prevents its riddance. A dubious soul once said, Step lightly round to the right of the great cathedral and seek an ancient shrouded church. The gift of the Godhead will grant you strength. Oh no, we can't go in there! I guess it won't let us go in there. It counts as a separate area. But anyway, that's that's where we're going to go next. So let's go do Shadows of Yarn. then. It makes sense that it would block it off. I didn't think of that, actually. Oh, was it blocked off when we went there yesterday? I don't remember. I, cause I, I thought we, I remember we walked over there because I got the stone, but I thought we just ran off killing stuff. <laughs> so we didn't actually go through into that cave. I guess we gotta we gotta be careful in here. Should we like make our way over to Shadows of Yarnum but not start the fight? Yeah, cause can can invaders enter boss arenas? 
Okay. So if we make it to the arena before the invader finds us, we should be good. We could have taken the shortcut, I just realized. <laughs> oh well, just run around the snake, I guess. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, chances are this place is so big, I don't think the invader's gonna find us anyway. <laughs> he probably spawned into the, the the forbidden woods and was like, oh fuck. <laughs> Not the woods. I'm getting fireball guy because I don't I don't like how the frequency at which he's throwing fireballs at us. How did that miss? doing his best.
victory! So I think um, since we can't go to that area, we're going to have to do that separately. And yes, yeah, so GG's. Poor Shadows of Yarnum. <laughs> you know, uh, I so I had a, an interesting, uh, there was an interesting topic on, uh, on Reddit about, uh, like, because I guess in Lies of P, people are torn between whether or not they like the Black Rabbit Brotherhood fight. Like, it's kind of divisive, which to me is surprising because I think the Black Rabbit Brotherhood fight, as annoying as, um, as multi-boss battles oh, wow. are, uh, Black Rabbit Brotherhood is done to perfection because where where the where FromSoft absolutely fails in multi-boss battles is like when you look at all of them that they have, like Ornstein and Smo, uh, Shadows of Yarnum, the Godskin Nobles, like the the problem that all of the from soft multi bosses have is that they attack indiscriminately, like they don't they don't take turns. Like one doesn't focus you while the other one hangs back or maybe tries to do range. Like basically both both scripts are acting independently from each other. They're just acting as two separate enemies that are fighting, which I guess is one philosophy to look at it. But then the problem you run into that is that there's no good way to really do the fight because then half of the time you're spent you're spending it just trying to run away and wait for like the most ideal opening to attack and like usually whenever you are focusing on one boss the other one manages to get in some cheap hits somehow and i absolutely hate this excuse because from soft fanboys are always going to bring this up. They go, oh, but you know, the pillars and Ornstein and Smo is it? No, get the fuck out of here. That is the most basic, low effort design choice to implement mechanics in a boss fight. Because basically what that's saying is that as the programmer made those bosses, they put in the script and then they went, you know what? Both bosses are going after the player at the same time. And instead of being a smart programmer and saying, let me implement some script to change this, they go, I'm just going to put up some walls so that the NPCs walk directly into it, and that's going to be how the player has to do the fight. Like, it's it's just lazy. It's so lazy to do it like that. Like, it's one thing to use uh, the environment to block projectiles, like you can in Shadows of Yarnum, how there's the, the one guy that throws fireballs, and you can use the gravestones to, to kind of like block against them. Like, that's fine. So it's like, FromSoft has some decent multi-boss battles. And I think Shadows of Yarnum is one of them. But they just utterly fail at every other fight. Like, it's, it's so bad. Um, I think there's only maybe one other FromSoft multi-boss that I think is decent. But for the most part, they're all garbage. And like, what makes... Uh, Black Rabbit Brotherhood is so good about that is it's so it's clear who you're fighting there's four dudes on the screen and it's clear which one of those four at the same time that you're fighting because you're only ever fighting one at a time and the others kind of hang back you can go fight those other ones if you want but there's always one of them is focused on you and then the big guy will occasionally run in but what makes it so wh where the design is good in that example is that before all of the attacks go off, there are visual and audio cues that the player can pick up on to know, hey, I'm about to be attacked by something, or like, you know, another guy's running in. It's the equivalent of Sokka from Avatar The Last Airbender running in and going, sneak attack! <laughs> like, that's that's what it is. So, yeah, you could say, you could argue that maybe it's, it's, a, little, uh, it's a little lame, but... I, I would prefer that over the way FromSoft does it, where they just attack indiscriminately. Wow. What a delayed hit. But yeah, 
I, I love the Black Rabbit Brotherhood fight. I think that is single-handedly better than any multi-boss battle that FromSoft has ever done. Hitting me with shock, maybe? Uh, yes, this area. And there is a, there's actually a secret way to backtrack where you can you can go visit an NPC and get a special item, depending on certain choices you have made. Oh no, I forgot about the snakes. Or noodle thing, whatever these are. I hate these things. Look, I can't even hit them. Ah! Go away. Wow. Uh, yes, Yosefka is over there. Okay, I, di I didn't know if, because uh, you had said there was one uh, one of the umbilical cords you hadn't gotten, and this is how you get one of them. Oh, you don't have any. When you went to Yosefka's uh, clinic through that way, was she hostile? Did she attack you? Missed the ladder. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna run through here. I'm not gonna fight any of these things. I'm just trying to get back to my body. Go away. No. No. Oh, oh shit. I went the wrong way. Damn it. Okay. Well, it is okay. something about my defenses. This hurts. And uh, there's also another item there Then, uh, if you haven't gone through that way, there's an item you can get that will unlock a new area. Now I'm going the right way. No dogs. Bad dogs. Go away. They're not chasing me, are they? Oh, man. I didn't think he was going to follow me into the cave. Oh no! <laughs> he ran into the poison! Is he gonna get poisoned? Yeah, he's poisoned. You got the umbilical, nice. So, I forget what the trigger is, but when you go through that way to Yosefka's clinic, uh, depending on the choices you have made, um, you, she's either going to be hostile, or she, uh, she's, like, doubled over and, like, kind of, like, sitting on a, a gurney. And when she's on the gurney, then she will give you the umbilical cord. But I think when you, if she's hostile, she doesn't give you the cord.
Oh, I whiffed! No! I hate these little bastards. They're so annoying to hit. So I'm, I'm really going to show my age here, but uh, there there's kind of a joke in classic gaming around uh, weapons like that. Shit. Shit that go over the enemy's head. <laughs> in the Friday the 13th game on NES, the only weapon that you have against like zombies, scorpions and stuff is a rock that you throw. <laughs> but when you throw it, it goes in an arc and it, it doesn't hit anything on the ground. <laughs> and even like the zombies, which are the same height as the, their sprite is the same height as the player's sprite, it arcs over their head. <laughs> so it's like you kind of you have to throw it from a distance. Like if you're too close, if they're too close to you, the rock just goes over their head. So that's exactly what these snakes are. I swing the weapon and it just goes right over their head. No more snakes, I hope. Uh, you got the lady who is pregnant, but you don't know how to progress her quest. Pregnant lady? Oh my god. Jesus. Oh my god! Can I- can I get away, please? Oh, the prostitute. Oh, um, yeah, I, I don't remember because I've only, so out of the few times that I've played this game, I've only sent her to the chapel once. Um, so, and even then, I don't think I did the quest. Shit. You know what? I'm not even going to fight these guys. There's no, there's no point. I'm just going to run around. I'm going to grab the shinies and I'm going to bounce. I don't feel like fighting all these snakes. Look at them. They want me. Yeah, we're not going to bother with all these snakes. They are so obnoxious to fight. It's not worth it. Uh, was there something out this way or no? No. Um, I usually don't do Parl until a little bit later, um, so we can, we can kind of go, we can come back around for Parl. Um, we can go back to, uh, to the, the graveyard, uh, where we fought the, the shadows, and then I'll, I'll summon you beyond that point, and then we can just progress from there. And Zachary, hello there, my friend. Trick Zachary is one of my very close real-life friends. 
that I've known since high school. Uh, oh, is it is that the way that it goes? Um, is that where that leads? Past the graveyard, does that go to wrong? Because if that's the case, then we, we can go do Kanehurst. It goes to, to Bergenworth and then to Rob. Okay. Right. Yeah, because then it would be midnight. Right. Yes, Zachary. Um, you know, you would be glad to hear. So I'm... I'm playing Souls games right now, and then on Sundays I'm going to be playing through the Mario Rabbids games, but then once I'm done with those, Zachary, I might be might be doing a little Legend of Dragoon, hmm? Hmm? I've been feeling the itch to play it lately, and I was about to bust out my PS2 to bring it into my room and uh, play a few classic stuff, and I figured, you know, it's time for Legend of Dragoon. It, you know, Drix the Boy, I, <laughs> if you're saying I'm old from PS2, I'm much older. <laughs> like, I have all, I have all beyond that. I've kept everything throughout the years. Because I, I did not want to pay money for a video game that I was only going to play once and then never again. Uh, but yeah, I've got I've got all the classic stuff still, and uh, what's more is I've got all the fancy dongles and doohickeys to make it look nice and pretty on modern displays. Yosef does blood ball. Oh, that's towards the beginning. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't... Is she gonna be hostile? Because I, I never... I can never remember what makes her hostile. Uh, but yeah, Zachary, I, I hope I'll see you around with some Legend of Dragoon. Um, so you can finally see the end of that game. <laughs> uh, she shouldn't be. I've done most of the same as you. Okay, guess we'll find out. Ah, you no, she's hostile. I'll, uh, I'll come back. I think, so I think the thing is, um, she, it's after, it's at midnight is when she, she's not hostile. I think that's it. Because if it's midnight for you, tricks, then, um, that could be why. Yeah, she was hostile. Uh, I backed off, though, so I don't think it triggered it. Uh, so I should be good. I should be able to go back. E even if she was, and I didn't get that umbilical cord, I could potentially get the other three. And uh, you have to defeat uh, Mikolash to progress the prostitute's quest. Okay. Oh, and you'll also want to come back and pay this guy a visit. Uh, right here, he's right next to the, the first lantern here. And 
in Yarnum. Local. Um, come visit this guy after midnight. He's got a gift. But he's he's not doing very well, so he's you you might encounter some trouble. Yeah, I believe I believe it's the Rose Mariners. There's two flamethrowers. I forget which one it is. You desire. Very well then. Um that up. Uh, he did turn into a beast, yeah. And he got the claw mark rune. Nice. Farewell. Uh, where are we going to next? Oh yeah, we're going to Kanehurst, right? Um, so should I, should we get to Kanehurst first, and then I'll, I'll summon you once we get there? I think that would be the best way to do it. Yeah. So, so Trix, I want to, you don't know how to get there, though. Okay, so, um, once you've got the summons, uh, you come here to Hemlick Charnel Lane. And you're gonna run straight through all these crazy ladies. Ignore the creeper. Ah! God, okay, this is getting cra a little crazy. I didn't think it was going to get this crazy. They're not chasing me this whole way, are they? Double wow. Triple wow. I guess I just don't get to attack against this guy. And I can't see because of the trees. Um, so once you've you've dealt with all of these dudes, you just uh, come to this center gravestone. Uh, yeah, sure, you can summon me this time. Twenty four hundred visceral. Oof. That is mean. And you heal for the three hundred. Are you doing the? Uh, you're getting the visceral boosts with the, the healing. Cause I got the healing one also. I I was trying to build this character kind of like um. To be like uh, Vlad Dracula Tepesh from Castlevania. So that was the inspiration. He's like a vampire dude. Alright, and we, the horsey takes us on our way. You love horses. <laughs> they are some fuzzy dudes. Place. This is probably one of my favorite areas in the game. <laughs> yeah, the horses. The horses, of course. I'm not sure how they made it over the, the bridge. But.
Okay. Um, so now I have to use the small bell, right? Alright. I'm going to wait to make contact. Uh, if you can tell uh, by looking at my character here, even though I said <laughs> he's supposed to be like Vlad Dracula Tepes from Castlevania, I am absolutely terrible at the character creator in <laughs> these games, so he does not look like Vlad Dracula Tepes, but that's okay. He's doing his best. <laughs> Yes, we have made contact. All right. Yes. All right. I'm going to let you lead the way. Even though I said Castle Kanehurst is my favorite area, like one of my favorite areas in the game, this first part of it is my least favorite. <laughs> oh, my health is so much smaller. that oh yeah since I can't collect shinies <laughs> that's right it is best that you lead the way You know, the, I'm surprised at how, uh, like, the lag isn't too bad, but the couple of times that I was invaded in Dark Souls 3, the lag was, was, oof, oof. Um, I can show where the shinies are, though. I don't know that I have them all mem memorized. <laughs> Uh, so you got the chest over there. Okay. Um, I think this side first. chonk nice uh there is a so whew, pardon me that forest that we were in that's the first to me that's the first official grinding spot in the game just because there's so many enemies in it um but there is a better place later on where you can farm bloodstone chunks and uh, just clearing that one area, you get, at least in the first run, I don't know about like New Game Plus, but in the, the first game, 
uh, you get about 50 to 60k per run, and it doesn't take very long. It's only like maybe a 5 or 10 minute loop. Uh, there is a Chesto here. over here? I don't think so. You pretty? <laughs> Did you get something else? Oh. <laughs> nice. There's going to be a couple of those bat dudes that spawn, and then we've got, I think there's a shiny up here. Remember charge attack. Got another chunk. Um, I don't believe it works on that one, um, or really, I'm not, actually Bloodborne might be the exception, but typically in Souls games, when you get caught in grabs like that, if you alternate pressing the L1 and R1 buttons, you can kind of shake free of it, and in, at least in the other Souls games, you can break out of those, those attacks early. Okay, good, you do know. Because that, that's, like, such a hidden thing that, like, almost nobody knows about. And it's, like, it's so helpful with some of those grabs. You know, it'd be nice if there was a little message or something somewhere that told you about that in the game, but... No, that's just one of those esoteric, nonsensical, FromSoft rules that they implement. Okay, another Chesto. Oh, where'd you go? Oh. And then this is a shortcut. I'll just press the button. The Evelyn's? Oh, the, uh, the pistol, you mean, right? That other pistol? Yeah, yeah, it's somewhere around here. gonna do blood tinge next game i'd like to do a blood tinge build um i want to try using that gatling gun that you find in the old hunters i think it looks cool
Oh, you're leveling it next because you want to use the Evelyn. Yeah, I, I want to do like an actual blood tinge kind of build, I guess, and like maybe try and focus more on, on firearms and try it out. What the heck? It's hitting me. Oh, these little dudes up on top of the, the stairs. They throw little blow darts or something. There's uh, some shinies down that way. I've got one here. shiny here you found a window yeah there's an open window around here also um, it's back over this way right yeah here we go So, we drop down on this side, and there's a shiny. What the hell? <laughs> okay, so before we go over that way, I think we go back in here. And there's another chest over here. Executioner's gloves. I, you know, I tried those out. They're not as good as they seem. <laughs> Unfortunately, I I was using those for a little bit because like that. I think that's one of the first like arcane items that you can find. And I was just like, yeah, yeah, they look cool, but. I, I just I think that the the cost it exacts from you like for the the cost of the bullets um, uh, aren't aren't good it's a uh, it's it's a uh, a usable item so you put it on your uh, your this bar and I think they shoot like little skulls or something like that they shoot little homing skulls um, yeah, it's it's not very good. <laughs> um, is there a shiny? I think there's a shiny over on the other side of that roof. Uh, careful, though. I think one of those bat things pops down. There he is. Secret bookshelf. I need to have one of these in my... Whenever I, I own a house. But being a millennial, I'm never going to own a house. So I got I to gotta find a way to make it happen. Um, so we're, we're back in here. But there's a ladder right here. Chesto. Uh, there are 
The stairs to the next area are over there, but let's run around here. I think there's some shinies? Somewhere? There had to be shinies. Oh, creepy! Maybe he's the shiny. You got two chonks. Nice. Yeah, th those will be easy easy enough to... Uh, there's an area we can, we'll have to go to after Rom. Uh, is, and that's the place where we can farm chunks and get really good experience. You need a rock, though. Well, good luck with that. There are only three in the game. Uh, the rest, I think, once you've beaten the game, um, they you can purchase them from the messengers uh, that uh, the insight messengers, not the not the ones that you you can buy like vials and bullets and stuff from. Because I think you have to spend insight to get it. But I don't know when the trigger is of like when you're able to do that. Um, but seeing as how chunks are, or I mean not chunks, rocks are really, really rare, um, like I said, there's only three in the game, I think. You get one, uh, in the main game, you get one in the DLC, and then I think there's one somewhere else? Maybe, maybe there's two in the main game. You might be thinking there's two. No, no, no. Actually, you know what? There is only two in the game. You get one in the base game, and then one in the DLC, and then that's it. Um, oh, and there's one in the Chalice Dungeon. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't have any experience with the Chalice Dungeons, so uh, whatever is in there, I have no idea. I've only done them a few times, and I wasn't impressed with them, so I just stopped doing it. I think the Chalice Dungeons were from Soft practicing at... Uh, they were implementing an AI tool to generate dungeons, which is how they ended up making the catacombs in Elden Ring. So the chalice dungeons were the, uh, the practice for that. Uh, I think there's a shiny somewhere here on one of these, these sides. Oh, I, I thought you would have to go all the way around again. Uh, let's see. Can I, can you go in there? Good luck, Gus. It won't let me in. <laughs> we can just wait, it's fine. Do you have to maybe, like, trigger the boss first? And then I can walk in? Hmm. So, uh, Trix, this is another really divisive boss in this game. You either think it's just an average boss, or this is one of the hardest in the game. <laughs> Like, I, I've, I've kind of picked up on that from all of the, the fans. Okay, you know about it. Yeah, okay, good. Um, I So the first time I did this boss, I was like, yeah, this guy's, like, not even that hard. What the heck? But then for some reason, the second time I fought him, like, he was just impossible. He he went ultra instinct on me. He was just dodging everything. He was, it was ridiculous. It made no sense. I'm like, this is not the same boss that I fought before. Okay, Beckoner has begun the final battle. Now I can go in.
Got him. Oh. Oh no, my my desk is going crazy here. I don't know if you can see it in my face. It's like flashing a bunch of lights. I don't know what happened. Desk, what are you doing? There we go. Oh, nice, you got him. Oh, nice, nice. Mm. Okay, crit. Victory! No, it is not time to bid farewell. There's a lantern here. I want it. Light it! Light it! Ah! Uh, now we'll do it in your world after you talk to the lady. Okay, you know how to talk to the lady, right? Because you gotta make her appear first. Crown. Okay, good. You've done your reading. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to go back first uh, so I can refill on vials and bullets since it didn't do that for me. But yeah, overall, I don't have too much of a problem with Logarius. Um, like, so sometimes he can be a real pain, but then other times I'm like, okay, this was easy the hell <laughs> uh, so yeah this is interesting let me see here okay so yes you you can buy at the end of the game you can buy blood rocks but it costs 60 insight so that's the trade-off uh, so you you only get two in the main game you get two you get one from the chalice dungeon like you said and then you can buy them from the messengers. I, I'm presumably a new game plus. I, I think maybe this is a new game plus exclusive that you can buy blood rocks. Um, but yeah, so you only get the two. So you gotta choose wisely which ones you're gonna, uh, what you're going to upgrade. And I I typically only use one or two weapons anyway. Um, so it's it's not that big a deal to me. Um, you've seen people buy it on non-New Game Plus. Okay. Yeah, with this being my first time on New Game Plus, I didn't know if that was a thing. Um, I just knew, already knew of the rarity of the Blood Rocks. Hang on. It's time to take the sweater off. We're getting toasty. Okay. Uh, sporting my my Contra shirt today. I don't know if you can see it here. I've got my my spread shot shirt on. Ooh. Readjust my camera. And big bell. All right. So I'm I'm next to the lantern. Whenever you're ready. That's cool. Well, thank you. I've got all kinds of ridiculous, geeky gaming shirts. That's pretty much all I own. <laughs> One of my uh, favorites that I have, of course, this was much more relevant back in uh, 2012 when The Dark Knight had just come out. But I have a shirt that has a pixelated Pac-Man ghost on it. But the coloring on it is done to make the ghost look like the Joker. Like he's got the little smile and everything. And then below it, it says, it's simple. We kill the Pac-Man. It's one of my favorites. Oh no, you accidentally shot her. 
Dude, I gotta. I have to be so careful in these games with it, cause like the the triggers on the PS5 controller are so sensitive. Sometimes I just set it down and it triggers one of the the buttons. She was fine with it. Okay, <laughs> good. Oh, and you got the you got the Canehurst robes. Yeah, I, I figured uh, I should have just named him Vlad, um, but I didn't want to because my previous character I named Vlad Mira, which so which was a woman. So I was like, uh, I don't want to have the same thing. Um, but yeah, I, I figured something dignified and noble would be fitting for him. So put him in the Canehurst set. On your way to the lantern, no worries. We're making contact, it's okay. And this building behind me, when I triggered that one elevator uh, that we didn't go down, that building right there is where the elevator is. Um, so you can take it up and then that's, it takes you back into that room where all those ghost ladies were. the shinies. I can't move. <laughs> that delay <laughs> on my screen. He couldn't decide what he wanted to do. That's okay. I don't know if you can stun these things. They got that big old stomach booty, whatever it is. I mean, you should be able to. It wouldn't make sense why you couldn't. No. Oh, I got the rocks screwed me up. Oh no, tricks. No. I will avenge you. These things are mean. 
Uh, do I... It says the bell's still active. Let me go back towards the lantern. Maybe it'll just summon you back. I don't die. Hang on. I hate the attack pattern on these things. Like, they don't need that much of a gap closer. You need two more chunks. Well, we should be getting them soon enough. That's okay. I had I burned through a lot of vials there. But we don't, we don't need to go back that way. We can just run past them. I got the bell ready. Whenever you're set. Two more levels and you can use Evelyn. Hell yeah. Yeah, that should be nice. Are you just trying to get the like the minimum blood tinge or whatever you need? Oh, and you gotta upgrade it, yeah. <laughs> Yay, we have made contact. There is another shiny that's like down over that way, but there's a bunch of worms down there and I don't feel like dealing with them. So I think we'll just move on with our lives and bother with whatever garbage is hidden over there in the corner. Writer Palash. That's another build I'd like to do is one with that rifle sphere. I'm just I'm a Final Fantasy VIII fan, so anything that resembles a gun blade, I'm already into. Wow. Shiny.
Okay. <laughs> okay, then. Yeah, I got caught in the middle. That one came in from the side, but it's not like we're far or in a dangerous spot. It's okay. Gotta buy some stuff. Alright, I'm gonna, um, let me know when you're ready, and then I'll just clear, uh, those first couple rooms. Doing a few rounds of Kumjin, no worries. Yeah, I'll just get this all cleared away so we, we don't have to worry about anything following us into the next room. Blood echoes. Making my way back. Okay. Making my way downtown. <laughs> Walk fast, pace fast, and I'm homebound. <laughs> they do that fucking song. <laughs> oh man. I, you know, if kid me in the mid-2000s when I first heard that, if I thought that nearly tw over 20 years later I would still be hearing that, I, I don't think I would have had that, that thought back then. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, bail. We need big bail. Where's big bail? There we go. Buttons. I know, I know the right buttons, I swear. Let's just run past all these big bellies. The 
the BBBs, the big belly boys. I like knocking him down. No, he grabbed me. <laughs> I was like, I knew this one that grabbed me last time. I was been trying to hit him. Wait, did we both get grabbed? What the fuck? <laughs> Dang, that guy was putting in work. Unable to acquire vile blood register. Is that everything in here? I need to shame. Evelyn! Damn! Blow dart things.
it just seems like I never have enough stamina. Chonk. Okay, that was it for right here, yeah? Alright, through the window. Ooh, another shiny. Oh, crap. Crap! <laughs> oh well. I'm good. I'm alive. Really? I hate all these chairs and tables and shit in the way. It's like, dude, get out of my way. Especially when there's a chest or shinies or something. Like right before me. Hmm, there it is. Night set. Executioner's doo doo, and I think that was it. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Poor bat thing. Didn't stand a chance. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that action right there. <laughs> and some X rated content we got going on here on Twitch. Stone. Whatever that is. Oh, go the other way first. Okay. Oh, it's more blood tinge scaling. Kind of shit. Yeah, the gems in this game, I'm not a fan of the gemstone system. Um, I think the gems kind of suck. Uh, sa same thing with a lot of the uh, the runes. Like, there's only a couple like good ones, I think.
squishy in the same spot. Wow. <laughs> I'm I'm fairly certain there's there's gotta be like guaranteed spawn points for them. Like there's only so many places they're going to appear. Chinese. Oh, dang it. Come on, get up. All right, we got this. At least we better. I have almost 400,000 blood echoes. <laughs> so let's, let's not screw it up. that attack. Um, I don't do too much with my Visceral since I'm more arcane build. It's more about my tools and, uh, let's see. Uh, so about 1300 or maybe a thousand. I didn't even see that attack. Uh, I, I would hide behind the building, one of the, the pillars. 
but we can. Maybe I can get it. There we go. Even do a thousand damage to him. Yeah, I wanted bullets. I get bullets back from viscerals. Oh, only two hit him. Synergy and teamwork right there. Excellent job. Woo! Oh, hey, there's a shiny back here? What is this? Why is there a shiny here? Oh, that's the crown. Okay. I don't know why it dropped there. That was 3,500 damage. Holy crap. Crown of Illusions. You had one bullet and one vial left. Wasn't even close. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I don't know. I just, I don't think Logarius is that hard. Like, I get it, but, like, just the... Especially with that dagger storm thing that he does, like, it's so easy to manage. Like, all you gotta do is hit that sword once or twice and, it, and then it stops. Or you could just hide behind one of the, uh, the towers that are on the rooftop and just use it as a shield to block the, the knives. Um, another tactic I would do is, like, I would fight Logarius, say, like, in this corner... And then, if I didn't feel like for whatever reason of stopping that dagger storm thing that he does, like I'd fight him right here, and then as soon as he starts it, I just go run to the opposite side of the building, and then the daggers don't even reach you. You're just outside of the AOE. So it's like, there's so much you can do to manage the things that Logarius does. Like I don't, I don't think he's that big of a deal, and the, and you can counter him with a with a bullet. So it's like you can, you just stop it. I don't know. I think there's harder bosses in the game. I don't think Logarius is that bad. Um, isn't there shinies? I thought there were shinies back here. Or a chest or something. Oh, there it is. Shiny! Unopened summons. I kneeled, my lady. Moonlit Energy Hunter. I am an illusion. Queen of Castle Kainhurst. <laughs> Ruler of your our people hated me. My weapon is short sighted. I was good to your fate. Now be Yay. Vampire. Uh so let's see, what do we have next? Whoops. Um, let's do ROM, because I, I think that's just the next part that we have, right, is to make it midnight. Um, because there is 
God, I look so goofy with this. <laughs> Wait, what's what's going on with my forehead there? <laughs> my face is all covered in blood. <laughs> the forehead isn't. Uh, Bergenworth lampshade. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think uh, I think Rom's the next part, right? Because there's I I want to I want to make it midnight so we can unlock the the next grinding area I'm talking about, and um, we can get you those bloodstone chunks. And we got a couple bosses to do over there too. Killed Rom already. Nice. Welcome, Abbot. Very well, then. Okay. Uh, skill. I'm still leveling up, and then I think I want to level up health as well. I'm gonna keep going with health. Farewell, Griffin. Oops. We get one more level. get eight health uh, from that one level it's not worth it is it already that low oof yeah you're right we we already hit the cap on that huh um yeah because other than that it's just raising skill for damage but i only get a couple more points so yeah i'm the that's the problem is i'm kind of at the soft caps for it, everything and i don't really need to raise blood tinge because i don't like, I don't really use the gun, so I'm more arcane build. Like, I would rather, if I'm going to put a point into something, I'd rather just keep raising arcane. Um, but health is always good. Even if it is only eight more points. <laughs> uh, the problem is... Actually, no, wait. Yeah, uh, strength and skill I can keep raising, so I can keep going up with those. So I'll, I'll put a few more points into vitality, and then I'm going to... I think maybe I'll get it to 55, and then I'll work on getting skill up to 20, and then I'll start raising strength up. Um, well, for me, let me check, because since of my, my arcane build here, um, yeah, it does have B strength for the, uh, the Moonlight Greatsword. And same with that. Yeah, so I, I should, I guess, start putting more into strength. Yeah, I guess I'll do that instead. Okay, uh, next area. Was that the grave? Yeah, let's do. Let's go to the grave. So yeah, I'm. I'll put a, a few more points in HP and then uh, keep raising strength. I didn't realize strength was it was that high. Um, okay, uh, so I can, oh no wait, no, it's gotta be the, the Bergenworth lampshade, right? Ah, fly thing! knowledge all right pressing all the wrong buttons here where is it there we go Camera. Oh, we've 
got oodles of fun up here. Oh no! No! Don't take my brains. Alright, we get to fight this gross thing, whatever this nightmare fuel is over here. You hate that thing? <laughs> I mean, it's it's kind of neat looking, but I I don't I don't want to know what it is or where it comes from. I'm good. Seductive. A pearl slug. I got her. Oh, there, nice. I like our tactics of just both of us pincering the, the target. <laughs> They're just like <laughs> bouncing back and forth. <laughs> you know, uh, who, where, where are my anime fans at? Um, because it that reminds me, that in particular reminds me of a badass fight sequence from Jujutsu Kaisen where... Um, who is it? It's Itadori and I want to say Nanami are beating the shit out of Mahito. It was him or T maybe it was Itadori and Toto. I forget which one of the two. Uh, I'll come back down for that that shiny. There's a uh, I think there's another one up here. Yeah, shiny. The Lunarium key. Oh, Bell Lady's up here. Student set. Uh, to get the eye rune. Uh, which which eye rune? Where is that? 
Oh, to kill the guy in the chair? <laughs> I always just talk to him, and he's like, ooh. Let's see, I guess I'll kill him. Sorry, old man. But you shouldn't be playing with aliens. Any And any other cosmic ethereal horrors. I'll check it out when I get back to the, uh, to the dream. Whee! Oh, there he is. Rom! Come here, you chunky boy. Until he's activated? Okay. Oh no! Tricks! Fucking hell. It did a double input read instead of doing my heal. Obnoxious. Uh, you wanted the souls? Oh, from the... Uh, from the, the baby spiders? Uh, so I just, um, I, I focus ROM, uh, because spe specifically with this build, um, I can use the Tiny Tronitus to just clear a wave of the spiders, because I one-shot them with the Tiny Tronitus. So, like, if it gets, just try and focus ROM and ignore the little ones, it should be okay. If they get too um, too obnoxious, where they they start swarming, you just kind of back up and run away for a minute. Ooh. Yeah, they too tappy. Those um, those headbutts hurt. <laughs> they hurt a lot. Oh, what? What was that? <laughs> there was a spider up here. Oh, no, wait, maybe that was the fly. I think that was the fly, dude. It looked like a spider. Uh, where are my blood echoes, by the way? Because I don't see him. Don't hit him yet? Uh, the fight's already started. Yeah, I don't know where my blood echoes are.
Where's that big boy at? Ah, meteors. Hey, come on, spiders. Line up. Line up for daddy. Oh, I only got two. We're not good, we're not good, back up. <laughs> Classic Souls philosophy, if at first you don't succeed, die, die again. Oh, no, yeah, I'm not going to count deaths for New Game Plus. That's okay. Um, I'll do that for the Elden Ring playthrough. Um, but Bloodborne, this was just kind of a funsy playthrough uh, until we until we make it to Elden Ring. Which, even with the counting, um, I want to say this whole playthrough, I've probably died less than ten times. But, you know, it's, it's New Game Plus. It's so much easier. The first one, anyway. Yeah, and the enemies are getting buffed since we're doing co-op. <clears throat> oh, where's the bell lady spawning? Is she, did she spawn in the same place when we run through here? Up top? Okay. I mean, the boss fight's right there, so it's probably... Yeah, there's not really any point. Rom, it just starts the fight automatically, I guess. go. Oh, he spawned on top of you. <laughs>
trying to back up. Fucking wow, dude. My blood echoes. All zero of them. Because <laughs> I, I don't know where the first spot was that I died at. So, oh well. Bye bye, 100,000 blood echoes. And the bride. to next um let's see i think there's a specific door that might be open now i don't remember if we need to find a key for it first we might already have it um but let's see it's gonna put us where does it drop us off at aren't we in the library oh no we're here hi amygdala um, so let me go get this lantern. Uh, yes, Yaragu. Uh, we're gonna go somewhere else first, but I don't know if it's open yet. So I want to check it. I'm gonna light the lantern, and then I'll go check it. Hunter's Dream, get to level up. Oh, and we are going to take a uh, just a short break uh, to uh, just refill on water and all of that kind of stuff. Okay, level up. Level up. Welcome, Odyssey. Very well. Woo! Let the echoes become your strength, let me... Can't level up. Farewell, good uh, I think I've got some cold blood, though, I can use. There we go, that's Welcome enough. Very well. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna get it to 55, even though it's it's only a few more points. That's fine. Well, good snake. More HP always helps. Okay, so let's take a, a small break, uh, just a couple of minutes. Um, I'll run an ad break too. So let's, uh, I'll just run an ad break and then we'll, we'll be back after the ad break. Um, okay. Let's be right back.
Alrighty, we are back. Ready to go. Um, so we are going to check one other area now that it's midnight. I don't know if it's open yet. We might need to find a key for it. And thank you for the wibbles. Dang it, I, you know, I keep doing that. I need to go to Cathedral Ward, not the Tomb of Odin. Keep selecting the wrong one. Uh, yes, the Upper Cathedral Ward. We've got an orphanage to visit. Uh, we need a key. We don't have the key yet. Okay, that's that's what I wasn't sure on. I don't remember where we find that key. So I couldn't, oh no, he did he die? I think he died. Yeah, he did. Um, I didn't send anybody here. <laughs> where do we find that key? see an upper cathedral ward key. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to come back then. Oh, hey, 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 I saw something. Hello. What is this? This is new. There's a door right there. Uh, gonna head out, friendo. Gotta open the library. Alrighty, May. Thank you so much for lurking and hanging out. Um, I might stop by later tonight if you're still on. Um, I've only got about an hour left, and then I gotta head to work, so I'll, I'll come by and give you a call. Thanks for stopping by, May. Formless Odon. Hey! So that's new tricks. I didn't know about this up here. And a messenger urn festival? What is that? Hang on. Messenger urn festival. Where is this? There it is. Accessory worn by messengers playing make-believe. Accessory adored by naive messengers. The messengers wear the urns filled with incense that ward off beasts on their heads upside down, suggesting a predilection to the dark. The inhabitants of the stump appear to have an interest in adornment. Why not let them be happy and revel as babes? Aw, oh, thank you so much, May. Ciao uh, for Quicksilver. Nice. So what does it do? Can I use it? I can't even use it. It's a key item. I, I don't know what those are for. Because I have this black messenger hat and like a couple other things. But I don't know what they do. Okay, so I guess we'll go to, uh, to Yaragul then. So we can go through Yaragul and uh, head over to, I think it's Yaragul, here we go. Head over, uh, go through the whole jail area, can loop around, do Dark Beast Parl, fight those three pain in the ass hunters. Uh, do you want me to summon you, Trix, or should I come into your world? You went into the jail early. Yeah, I think everybody does <laughs> their first couple playthroughs. Because the bagman catches you off guard.
Oh, so you could farm the two the twin bloodstone shards early. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I usually avoid Yadagul until this point in the game. Um, I don't bother getting captured by the big guy unless there is like something specific in there that I'm looking for. Um, you can kind of rush and get the the Tonatrus at that point when the bad guy catches you. So I think I did do that with this first with this character, just so I could get the Tonatrus. Yeah, I, I do really like this weapon. As cool as the Moonlight Greatsword is, this weapon is awesome. Uh, so I'll let you you kind of run around and explore here. Um, oh, you got a chonk. Nice. This is a short... This is a, a way... Like, we don't need to go this way, because I think a, a, a shortcut opens this way. Yeah, because that's an elevator. So we come back this way. Uh, watch out for the amygdala as we're going down the stairs. Oh no! The guy shot me and it pushed me back into it oh wow what a combo <laughs> that was the most perfectly timed combo i think i've ever seen <laughs> exactly um here, I'll just ring the bell again, and then uh, hopefully I can just pop back in. Yeah, that's an annoying uh, combo to get shot in the chest, knocked backwards into an amygdala grab. Oh, you know what? I just found Syndic Will. <laughs> he was... I'm so blind. He was sitting on my desk right in front of me. How did I not see him here? I'm sorry, Cyndaquil. Yeah, poor Cyndaquil. Ooh, hang on. I just dropped something. I'm waiting for your summon anyway. I'm by the lantern. Where did I just... Where'd it go? Can you do it? Okay, hang on, hang on. Uh, while you're summoning, I'll be right back. I dropped something. going crazy my Wi-Fi what's going on oh no session lost uh, hang on do I have to click the bell again bell. Bell. Chat had gotten disconnected too. 
uh, let's see, is it is it still working? Because it looks like it's should be fine. Yeah, it might have just been a yeah a lag spike or something. making contact. Just need one more chunk. Nice. You know, I think, uh, Maybe I should just... Oh, I can't change it. Maybe I should just equip the Evelyn, because why not? It's very fast. Go back to the hunters? Okay. It said it was searching. Uh, maybe, yeah, I think I just need to, like, reset it. Let me go back. Uh, where? Yeah, that's cool. Oh, I can't even use the Evelyn, <laughs> because I, I don't have the blood tinge for it. That's fine. Like I said, I don't really use the gun. I try to save my bullets, because uh, all of the arcane abilities, like my, Tron my Tonitris and the, the Moonlight Greatsword and stuff, they all consume Quicksilver bullets, so I tend not to use the gun because of that. Um, here, I will use the Tiny Bell. Teeny Bell. We will make contact. So yeah, we're, we're actually, uh, since Bloodborne's not very long, um, potentially we may finish this uh, by next weekend, in which case I will be starting Elden Ring fairly quick here. And still no sign of Shadow of the Earth Tree, <laughs> wherever that is. I saw people are making ridiculous, like, bets on... Oh no, you just got disconnected. I wonder what's going on. Is my... Am I still online? I'm still online. Can restart? Okay. I'll just chill. He's enjoying himself. For sure, for sure.
coming back? All right. Have you gotten this jester, by the way? Um, because you do, you will need this jester for something. Just use the bead bell. Okay. Should match pretty soon here. Um, it's, it's in the upper cathedral ward, so whenever we get the key, uh, we'll, we'll head over there and do that stuff. All right. Target you. What? You see that? Yeah, like what the hell? Why is it hostile? Yeah, I can't even. Wait, it like it summoned me into your world as an invader. What? Go ahead and kill me. Weird, what the Did I hit the wrong bell? Yeah, a small resonant bell. Did the game just like bug out or something because you we used the proper bells and we have the password matching so it's like it it specifically summoned me to your world as an assisting specter yet i was i came in as an invader like yeah that's so weird <laughs> what the heck i've never seen that before didn't use your insight. Yeah, that's really, that's so bizarre. Okay, there we go. It says you're a beckoner now. Getting crackers? Okay, I'll start clearing.
Zombiezy. Thank you so much for always coming in and hanging out and all the subscriptions. I appreciate you so much. Like the lightsaber build, yeah, this is the FromSoft's famous Moonlight Greatsword. Doesn't open from that side. We can go through the hole though. But how you doing, Zombiezy? How's it going? How, how's the Oreo boy and his stinky farts? We gotta find the bell lady in here. Um, Cause she keeps reviving the, the big dudes. You got ice cream and it's 26 degrees outside. Oh my goodness. He broke out of his crate and chewed through a baby bottle. What a rebel. Better than your new furniture? <laughs> Yeah, that would, that'd be really nice. Well, I'm glad you're doing well. We gotta get back to playing some Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Oh, uh, you know what, Tricks? After you get this item, uh, let's go back upstairs. Shit. We want to get the bell lady and get this item that's in there. We can do some early in the week. Okay, just let me know because I'm currently doing a playthrough with some other mutual friends of ours. And we've been playing on uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays usually, but we are much farther ahead than where you left off. <laughs> Go up the stairs. Don't go too far out, though. You don't want to get blasted by a laser. Uh, so you want to drop right here. Um, oh, shit. Not that way. <laughs> My bad. Uh, Last Epoch officially releases this week, and you're excited. What's Last Epoch? So there's an opening you can fall through somewhere around there. Action RPG crossover with Path of Exile and Diablo in terms of mechanics. Hmm.
got the upper cathedral key. Okay, nice, nice. See, I, I knew we were getting close to that point in the game. I was like, the key's got to be close by. I just couldn't remember exactly where it is. Now, uh, with this part, I recommend not killing anything uh, except these dudes that are in our way. We should just run through here. The amygdala will take care of them. Oh! And take care of me, apparently. Uh, just run down the stairs. There should be... I don't know if the lantern's still there. I think the lantern's close by. You got the lantern? Okay. Uh, yeah, we can go ahead and uh, go through on mine, and then that way we can get the key. And then uh, once I make it to the next lantern, then we should double back and go to the upper cathedral ward and do that part. So let me use the beak veil here. Um, I gotta step away for just a sec, so I'll, I'll be right back while we're matching. Can't use the tiny chocolatress. Oh no. Yeah, it's so good. I'm really liking the arcane items. So, Zombiezy, are you, uh, I know you were away for work for a while. Are you back for good? Dang, man. They got you traveling everywhere. Oh, it's been a whirlwind of... Yeah, I know you said a while back that everyone in your house was sick. Rough. Glad you're all doing better, though. Did you use the, the right bell tricks, the small one? All right, it's, it's probably just taken a minute. I wonder how uh, our internet connect, like how our servers connect with each other, given how you're in uh, New Zealand. Because uh, I'm on 
the west coast of the United States. So it's like, we've got that big oceanic gap between us. So it's like, I almost wonder if part of why it takes so long is that I'm going the long way around the planet <laughs> to get to you, <laughs> right? So I, I almost wonder if it's just, you know, just taking that, that long for us. Um, ooh, geez, baby got exposed to influenza B at the first week week of daycare, and it ravaged everyone. Yikes. That's crazy, dude. You know, let me, uh... Let me go back. I'm gonna go back to the hunter's dream. Let's uh, let's do that. Let's, cause remember we had to do that before, when it disconnected us. So, let me just go back to the hunter's dream and try it again, cause it shouldn't be taking that long. Excuse me. Better out than in. Um, but yeah, Zombiezy, let me know what day works best for, like, what day and what time even. Because, um, you know, my schedule's all weird. And now we're in different time zones, so, uh, you know, it's probably going to be a bit more challenging for us. But just let me know, and then I'll, I'll hop on and we can play for a bit. Uh, how about you, Trix? Have you played the Borderlands games before? First-person shooter mixed with an RPG. Uh, I know in this day and age that sounds so cliche, but Borderlands was actually the franchise that did it first. So everyone, all of these looter-shooter nonsense garbage games that are out, they all copy Borderlands. Got some stuff midday tomorrow, looking back into getting into some DBZ. Nice. Um, I was so pissed off. I, I got uh, Crunchyroll, and I've been going through watching a bunch of shows, and then I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to watch Dragon Ball Super. Why not? Uh, but Crunchyroll only has the subbed version. They don't have dub. I'm like, well, that's a deal breaker. I'm, I'm not watching DBZ in Japanese. <laughs> it is obnoxious. Yeah, it shouldn't be taking this long, right? Um, I'll give it like another minute, and if it doesn't connect, I'll just say screw it and just move on. Just progress on my own until I get the key? Yeah, maybe we should just do that. How do I cancel it? I guess it doesn't matter. Oh no, you DC'd again. You know, that might be why it wasn't working. Uh, you've been itching to try some Elden Ring. No co-op. Well, technically there is. That's what uh, that's what Trixaboy and I have been doing here in Bloodborne. Um, there is, but it's kind of finicky. It uh, it doesn't. Oh jeez. It doesn't work quite in the way that you're expecting. Uh, Zombiesy. Like it's it's sort of like. Uh, so what's going on like with me and, and Trix right now is we're both kind of at the same point in the, the story. Like um, Trix is a little further ahead than me. 
Um, but what happens is we both need to be in the same spot in the game. And then, like, one of us rings a bell, and then it'll summon the other person. And then as long as that other person has a, a password, like the same password match, then it'll join us. Um, so it's like, you, you can play, it's just that, like, you can't, I can't invite, like, if I'm much further ahead in the game, I can't invite you into it, right? You know, because you have to be in the, you got to be in the same spot. Okay, you're back. Uh, so, for example, I'm going to ring a bell. So we're going to try and summon tricks. I'm going to make contact, because I'm a weirdo. Hey, there he is. Alright, we're good. See? There he is. And we can kill stuff together. So, um, it's a it's a different set of items in Elden Ring, but it's the same concept. It's like you, you have a... In each of the Souls games, you get a couple of, um, like, they're multiplayer specific items. And then uh, they all have like different purposes. Um, and technically, I could like bring in my overpowered character into like your new game. But, you know, I, then I would, like, stop everything. Um, but, yeah, I and the thing is, though, like, I, I would much rather play uh, Baldur's Gate 3 with you more than anything. Um, but as far as, like, the Souls games go, especially if it's your first time playing, I think you should play solo. Um, because it's... it's it's one of those special kind of gaming experiences that is best experienced solo first, and then uh, then play, like start futzing around and messing in co-op, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta struggle. Cause how else are you gonna learn? I mean, there are, like, it, these games are best to go in blind, because they're, they're that kind of RPG, right? Like, it's, it's kind of like, I'm sure you've got the same feeling towards Baldur's Gate 3, like, you don't want to know anything about the story, you don't want to know, like, you're trying to go in as blind as possible, and that's how these games are, too, like, you just, it doesn't have that same, quite that same level of, like, narrative and choice-driven things that, like, a, like, Baldur's Gate or something has, but it's more about overcoming the, the struggle and, uh, and discovering things for yourself. And also, just because of the, the way the story is told in these games, like, it's not... <laughs> Because it's dead to you? Oh my goodness, Zombie Z. You should play it. You should play it. They're such amazing games. I think Elden Ring's the most accessible one, for sure. Bloodstone Chonk. Gonna break everything. <laughs> See, that's part of what's good about these games is they help you learn to let go of such fury. Of Burr Cathedral Key. Alright, you get the big boy. I get the gun, dude.
tiny tauntress. Just gonna run through here. Hopefully, I won't die. <laughs> oh, there he goes. We make it. Yeah. Oh, there's a creepy. He's getting away. Two bloodstone chunks. Okay, so now that we hit the lantern, uh, do you want to go do the upper cathedral ward stuff? Uh oh. Uh, we could start Baldur's Gate 3 stuff too, even if it's just Tomb Creation. Yeah, for sure. Um, I've been talking with our, our other friends, and um, they, because uh, they've been playing it a lot too. Um, I'll try, so Zombeezy, I'll try and wake up early, uh, cause I'm gonna, I am gonna stream tomorrow night, but probably not till like 6pm, maybe 7, so we can, we can at least get started. Um, Trix, by the way, as you left, I got invaded, so I'm stuck right now, I can't leave, unless, there, is there an item that banishes invaders? Oh, here he is. <laughs> I'm making contact. Oh, does he want me to follow him? I don't want to follow him. Silencing blank? Is that it? Where is it? It's it says it only does it for co-op helpers. Can you um the matchmaking is still open, though. Can you get summoned back? I mean, I'll kill him if I have to, but he I don't think he's... The way he's acting, he's not running directly after me, so I think he's trying to bait me into the... Because he's trying to bait me into the three hunters that are down there. So he's he's going to run when, we, when he comes up here is the problem. Yeah, see, he's he's trying to bait me into the. He's trying to bait me into the, all the NPCs. Here in the corner. So he's he's gonna run. Shit. 
Should we just wait for him in here? <laughs> Is there a... You know how in Dark Souls there's the item that you can use to make um, to make enemies attack invaders? The giant seed? Is that in this? I don't I don't think it is. Like, uh, keep an eye out. I'm gonna look for it. I I doubt it. Because it would be in the consumables, yeah? Enemies attack invaders anyway, do they? Then what is he running for? Where does he think he's going? I mean, I guess we can just kill stuff while we're out here. Just gotta be careful, I guess. Gotta get over to the... The bell lady. Fucking hell. God damn controls! Can you just get summoned back, though? Because the bell's still active. Because, I mean, he's going to run out of blood vials eventually, yeah? Because don't when you're invading, don't you start with less blood vials? Yeah, and you know, it didn't help, too, that we're in an area with fucking reviving enemies. Like, what bullshit? You know, and like, I'm just trying to kill the damn summoner, and then I've got four things shooting at me. Two dogs, a giant guy. Like, give me a break. Tremendous lag. Yeah, but if it does that, isn't he going to win? Doesn't he get our souls, if that's the case? He's, because he's, he's just trying to, yeah, he's just trying to lead me down to the hunter. Yeah. Where, where is that item?
because I'm not seeing it. Yeah, now you're running. Actually, I'll just do this. Because I'm like, I'm not going to give him souls for that. That's the whole point. You know, it's like, I'm not going to kill myself. Fuck that guy. Waste my time. This is a, sh that's a shitty place for him to, like, that was just overall shitty timing. Like, because this is a very bad place to get invaded because of all of the respawning enemies. Like, we're, not only is it the worst area that you could get invaded, like the worst time that you can get invaded, I think it's, it's one of, that is the worst area, period, in the entire game. Like, I, I would rather get invaded anywhere else in the game. Um, yeah, we're gonna do Upper Cathedral Ward next, because that was, that was the whole thing we were trying to do <laughs> this whole time. Uh, let's see, can I level yet? Of course not. Okay, uh, so yes, we're going to go to the Upper cathe Cathedral Ward next. Actually, you know what? I've only got about 10 minutes left, so we'll have to save that for next week. Yeah, it is, it is just about 9 o'clock, my friends, for me. Uh, that means I gotta go to work, unfortunately. Ew. Well, alright, cool. Thank you so much for hanging out, everyone. Thanks, uh, Tricks of Boy. We did, we got some good progress today. Uh, and thanks, Zombiezy, for stopping in. And Zachary stopped by earlier as well. And uh, as always, Zombiezy, thank you so much for the subscription. I really do appreciate it. Um... You are most welcome, my friend. What do we what do we got here? Let me let me take a look. Uh, we we might have a few people on. Uh, whoops. Uh, you in the mood for anything, tricks? Since you, I imagine you're probably going to be on for a while still. Um, Mark's doing lines of P. Um. May, the emphatic sage, May, who was in here earlier, uh, she plays a lot of indie games. She's playing something called Black Book right now. I'm not familiar with it, but she plays a lot of cool indie stuff. Um, yeah, we'll go to we'll go to Mark. Um, she plays a lot of cool indie stuff. Like there was this one point and click adventure she was playing that was like a, it was the, uh, you were a detective and you were trying to solve this murder case of like this woman you met in a bar. But, uh, and she was shot, but the way it's presented is through, like, constellations and through, like, space forming and everything. So it turns out that the, the shot that killed the woman you meet in the bar was the Big Bang. And then you're kind of going around doing this, like, cosmological, ethereal search. It's so crazy looking. But yeah, it looked awesome. It looked awesome. Um, 
But anyway, uh, Trix, you got to the first Cathedral Lantern for next time. Okay, cool, cool. So we got that. Uh, I'll be doing Bloodborne next Friday and Saturday. And uh, like I said, tomorrow I will be playing some... I'm going to be starting Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, so Zombies. We're doing a little turn-based tactical uh, gameplay tomorrow if you're interested. And then I'll also let you know I'll probably wake up early and we can at least start Baldur's Gate 3 or something. So, cool, cool. Uh, let's see, let's get the... We're going to go raid Mark Potomus because he's playing Liza P. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out. I'll see you tomorrow uh, for Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, if that's your thing. Uh, but let's go see Mark, and have a good night, everyone. And enjoy the games.